Hello everyone, and welcome back to Femboy Fishing episode 13. So you're probably wondering why I'm making this episode and why the season finale isn't out yet. And to put it simply, I've had a lot of complications um, getting it edited. Are you kidding me? So I decided it's been five months out of the year since the fish started biting and I still haven't made any new videos. And if I kept waiting any longer, then I would be missing perfectly good ample opportunities to film episodes. So I decided I miss making Femboy Fishing episodes and I think you guys miss watching them. I decided let's just go out and film another episode of season one. The creek that we're at right now is actually a new creek that I found recently and it's becoming one of my favorite places to fish. There's just tons and tons of smallmouth bass here. It's really nice and peaceful and it's pretty and there's really no one out here. So I figured we should come here and try filming here, so. There is just tons of smallmouth in here. There's also lots of sunfish and bluegill that have been kind of swimming around in circles, kind of back and forth. There's only so many fish in this pool, so we'll probably try to see if we can catch something here and then we'll keep moving down because there's a couple more deeper pools down there which also have really nice smallmouth. Right now I'm just using my little Rebel crawfish crankbait. This is one of my favorite creek fishing baits of all time. I have caught so many smallies and bluegills and creek chubs and pretty much anything you can find on the creeks in these with these things. Hopefully we'll catch some cool fish with this, guys. Oh, got a fish. Oh, we came off. Dang, first cast, a sunfish bit it. I tell you, they're super active in this creek. Ooh, a smallmouth just went after it too. There's a couple smallmouths that are patrolling around this pool. They're really aggressive when they bite it too. Oh, that one. It's a little, looks like a little long ear sunfish. He hit that thing hard. Oh, he's pretty though. Wow. Look at him. Ah! Well, you had a chance to look at him, I guess. It's all right. Oh, got a small mouth. Oh man, he came off. Oh man. Jeez, he wasn't a bad size one either. Wow. Well, I do love this lure and the fish are going crazy for it. They're getting really bad hookups, which these hooks have been bent in the past. I've got them stuck on rocks and logs and things. And I try to pull them back with my pliers and get them back to their original shape. But even with them being at their original shape, I'm still getting kind of bad hookups with it. I'll still keep fishing uh, with this lure, but if I keep getting bad hookups, we might switch to something else. So I decided to switch pools. I got it bites from at least four different types of fish including some really hard strikes from some smallmouth and my hookups weren't very good. We're gonna go to the next pool since I noticed that the fish were in that pool stopped responding to this lure. So I decided to switch to this little panther martin spinner. I actually just got this yesterday and I'm kind of curious to try it out. I had a white panther martin spinner, which I used at this spot last time I was here, and it caught me tons of smallmouth too, and it had better hookups than the crayfish lure did. I'll try using this and see if this will get their attention. Oh, dang it, dang it. No, 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 no. What? Are you serious? Uh, okay, let me explain what's going on. Okay, so I caught a fish on it, and then it got snagged. So... There's a fish hanging from the tree right there. I'm gonna hurry up and head over there before this guy suffocates being out of the water. I don't think I've ever had this happen while fishing, both snagging and catching a fish at the same time. Unfortunately, I'm not really gonna be able to show you guys this fish. This is really tangled on there and I'm gonna have to pop the lure off of him so I can untangle it, so. Uh, <laughs> this is a very interesting start to an episode so far. Well. I got the lure off. I uh, spent a good two or three minutes in there making sure he'd be okay and he started to recover from it so I think the fish is going to be all right. Unfortunately I've scared away most of the fish in this pool from doing that so we're just going to go on ahead and move on to the next pool and see if we can catch something. Oh 
I got a fish. Oh, it's a smallmouth. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good smallmouth too. This is awesome. Look at him. Wow, that is such a pretty smallie. These are some of my favorite basses. I don't know if I've ever talked too much about them before, but these are some of my favorite fish of all time to catch. This is my favorite kind of place to fish too. Man, that is just a beautiful smallie. Such a pretty fish. I love them. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you later. Oh, that one. It's a sunfish. Looks like a little long ear. Oh yeah. Oh. Are you kidding me? It's the second sunfish we've caught that like popped out of the water just as I was showing it to you guys. I can't even show you guys the sunfish. They're so much in a hurry to get back in the water. I don't really have time to stop and say hi. So I'll tell you guys what, um, I'm gonna move on down to the next pool. We'll make our way up there and see if there's anything good. So it looks like there's a little bedrock bluff up there. I don't know how deep it is, but I guess we can go check it out. This creek is very interesting because most of the pools aren't very deep, yet there's really big smallmouth in here. So we made it down here, and I'm trying to be very quiet because it isn't very deep. There's definitely smallies and stuff in there, because I saw a few swim away, but I don't want to scare them all off. Let's uh, go ahead and get our pole in the water before we potentially scare all these fish off. to stop a second because I saw a really big beautiful smallmouth right in front of me. He took me off guard. He was really pretty too. I had lots of stripes and stuff. Oh, got a fish. And it, oh, it's a little sunfish. Oh, he's little. He's really little. Look at him. He's just a little baby sunfish. He's a cool little fish. Thanks for letting me catch you, little guy. I'll see you later. I'll leave him here. Whoa, oh my goodness. He hit that thing hard. Oh, another beautiful smallmouth. Jeez, he darted at that thing. Oh. And there he goes. I think this creek has some of the most aggressive smallies I've ever seen, jeez. I think I'm gonna keep moving down. There is still lots of smallmouth and sunfish and there's also a huge school of hognose suckers swimming around, but I want to keep going. So I came down to this one little section where there's this deep pool that's kind of right here. And it looks like there's another deep pool right there. There's lots of smallies in here. I even saw some pretty decent sized ones. I think we're going to fish these two pools and then we're going to call the episode there. So I moved down to the next pool, um, not even necessarily just because I wasn't really catching many fish there, but also because I heard a car coming and it kind of scared me over here. So I'm going to see if I can catch two more fish or so, and then we'll probably call the episode there. Oh, right away. Got a fish. Oh, it's a beautiful little long ear. Little long ear sunfish, he's barely hooked too. Hopefully this guy won't jump in the water, which I'm barely standing in the water as it is, but look at him. Man, that is such a pretty long ear. Such a cool fish. I love him. Buddy, I'll see you later. Oh, they're all going after it. Whoa! Another little sunfish. I made him jump out of the water. I kind of jerked my pole and he went whoop. Anyway, another little sunfish. You know, it's very interesting. The sunfish in this creek are like really, really tiny, yet the smallmouth are really, really large. I wonder if it's because they're eating these guys. 
He's really pretty though. See all the patterns and stuff on him. Such a cool fish. I like him. See you later, buddy. He's only gonna catch two more fish and then end the episode, but they're biting really well right here. So I mostly wanna see if I can get another smallmouth. There's a few of them that are swimming around in here and they were just going after my bait. Oh my goodness. There is a small mouth. He hit that thing last second. Jeez. Once again, they're so aggressive. He's another beautiful smallie. Wow. Unfortunately, I hooked him kind of deep, so he's bleeding inside his mouth a little bit. I had to get out the forceps to get the hook out. He really wanted that thing, so hopefully he'll go back in the water and heal up. Yeah, that is such a pretty fish. He's pogging it, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go before uh, I make his condition any worse. Go in and heal up, okay? I'll see you later. I don't like to catch too many fish from one creek since there's only so many fish to go around in such a small body of water like this. So I think I'll go ahead and pack up my stuff and head on home. Thank you guys for watching Femboy Fishing episode 13. I may or may not make an episode 14. I'm just going to kind of play by ear with it. Uh, I would really like to start season two, but it's really difficult because of the technical issues involving the season finale. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see an episode 14. Also, Jeeves, if you're watching this, uh, feel free to comment. Can't wait for the next Femboy Fishing episode or something along those lines. Poor Jeeves, I've been confusing him for like the past three videos. So anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Hunting, fishing, loving every day. That's a prayer out of fanboy praise or something like that. Oh.